And we're back. Our friend Warren Rutledge, that we've set up as our chief operating officer to manage all of our stores, has been changing all products and all of them, and we have basically given money to our competitors with that. And he's also managed to delink all of our advertising, so we've actually lost a lot of time here. So let me just clear these stocks of these crappy competitor products. Don't want you. There, now I believe... Oh, he's still managing this convenience store. Look at that! Jerk, go away. Go back to my wine. Chewing gum. Yeah, right. Throw away that stupid product. Go back to our TV station, advertise all of our links to wine. There you go. Now as for prices, we should be okay. What else do we have? I'm managing this guy, I'm managing this guy. Okay, so I've completed all of the transfers. Now, we go take a quick look at our uh, chief operating officer. You're not doing me any good, you only cost me 44 million. Goodbye. Eric. Okay, uh, we could go for one of these. I think marketing technical officers are only good if they have competencies, which actually boost your, your R&D and your, your advertising. However, that's not the case. Nobody can help me in that, that regard. Uh, we can do investor relations, public relations, financial department to get out dividends. I might do that. Get a dividend of 1%. Oh, actually, we can go 10%. We have so much cash, so much money coming in. Okay, so we've got RNG of gold rings before I forget. We do want to apply this immediately. That's taking us to 341. That's to all. Our Product quality will consequently improve here. Product quality, 30 out of 30. Great. We're competing with an inferior quality product. They're at 338. Wow. That's a lot of tech they have. Finally, we've managed to catch up. Actually, we're slightly in front, so that's excellent. So, there we go. We just paid out dividends. 1%. Uh, yeah, so let's go back to our gold ring R&D. We can find it here in this big mess. You. No. You. No. You. You. One of these guys. Up here. There you go. Five years. I'm going to terminate you. I'm going to go for a longer... Actually, let's go for three years. Skip the advantage. And then we'll go for a comfortable ten-year product. Okay, uh... Leather belts, we've reached 88. This is important because it's a big cash cow for red pedal. Now we're at 88, how are they? Technology, R&D only. Leather belts, they're at one, they're at 38. And they're aiming for 118. They're basically there already. I think I have to go for another two year project. Okay, that's set up, that's very good. Uh, glass. This is great. We <laughs> reached 500. Other tech, just to all. We're actually not keeping up production here. It's interesting. So, yeah, uh, what we can do. How's our leather jacket supply? Uh, we have two factories. We've got this medium factory, which is actually fine in supply. And we've got this. No, it's uh, this one? No, it's this one. Large factory, plenty of supply. Excellent. Great news. Are we selling to ourselves only here? No, we're selling to iWatch. Okay, so I'm going to take you off internal sale. Uh, you're selling for 18 bucks. You're selling slightly more expensive. That's excellent. And you will be responsible now to sell to everyone. So let's take a look. You're purchasing from that old factory, it's selling for 18 bucks, that's 19, 19, 18, and 18. Okay, so these two have to switch to the 19 factory, there we go. 
Now we can go back here, pull up this factory for glass. Glass requires only silica, so I am actually going to look at my glass factory, which was it? This one? Yes. So this is not producing enough glass. We're selling to everybody, including ourselves. Maybe this is another reason why wine and grape juice. Uh, glass. Interesting. They seem to be with enough supply, but I am going to increase my glass output. So we only need one purchasing cell. Qbert, Silica, where are you? There you go. Up and running. Uh, you're going to become an inventory. You're going to become manufacturing. Manufacturing. Set you up appropriately. Clear that inventory, sure. Clear stock, clear stock, and clear stock. Manufacturing glass, purchasing silica, inventory silica, no. Clear stock, clear stock. Will that be enough? I don't think so. None and inventory. Any more speed. Glass. Glass. Excellent. Clear. Clear. Grape juice. No. Not for internal sale, but I will be charging a lovely 129. There you go. Now for all the f people that are purchasing glass from this factory right here, We'll have to swap. So let's take a look at their clients. We've got ourselves in this factory. So you're going to purchase glass here from the new supplier. Take a look, their quality is 73, ours is 83. Excellent. So we were purchasing at 90 cents, we're going to 129, which is fair because we were selling glass to everybody. Now if we go back, who else we have? Yeah, you, grape juice factory. Okay, glass. You're going to purchase from the brand new 130 factory. There you go. Next client. Other grape juice. And go right there. Did I go to the right guy? I did not, right? 130, there you go. What? See how this goes. We'll be selling only to those people. So yeah, we can definitely swap this for another product. Perhaps we can go for lemons. Uh, how's my lemon farm doing? Seems to have this be okay in terms of supply. Let's, so let's adjust the factory and begin our transition. So we got purchased lemon. I'm actually going to greatly, greatly increase my uh, supply of. My stock of lemon, so yeah, inventory. Fill it up with lemon. Uh, more inventory, just to make sure we never run out, because these guys, they really... They really can suck up all the production from my farm. You're me so concerned I'm stuck on internal sales. Still fine uh get that lemon going we have enough citric acid we do not so we can actually add another manufacturing cell as such you into inventory there you go. We'll double up our production. Now our R&D of socks is complete. We've reached 260. This is interesting. We take a look at their technology for socks. They're at 272, going for 280. We're still not there. 
we're pretty close, so I think it's time for us to start production. China disease, population chicken, Dubai, who cares? So let's go for a factory, uh, let's make sure which one, this is the farm, right? Yeah, this is the wool farm. Pressure is applying to a lot of people, aren't we? You know what? Uh, is the port producing wool? It's not. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set up my factory and yeah. Right next to it. Sure. Purchase wool. I know you're in there somewhere. Manufacture this is a simple product, so we can go for a quadruple formation. Inventory to unify both and sell them to double sales. You can start advertising, why not? Just keep pumping it up. Think media. Television. Full full blast. Let that suck come in. We're having a hard time purchasing. Alright, your shoes is complete. Excellent. Just go ahead and apply it all. Who cares? To your product, sure. Now back to my wools and sock factory. Hmm. I think it's time to set this to internal sale. Boom. More exclusivity here in this business. Get that wool moving, guys. Get those socks coming in. Internal sale, sure. Start an internal sale, four bucks. Let's go even lower. Let's give them plenty of space, but we can squish them in the retail zone. So yeah, where do we have socks being sold? A footwear store selling shoes. That's mine. And we have theirs. Socks and shoes. Shoes are still making money out of it. That doesn't please me, but our quality will improve. Why aren't you purchasing? Get that going. Oh, we're pretty much limited by price, I guess. So yeah, let's set up a new retail store. Uh, this is going to be for footwear because we're going to sell socks. Set it up. Go oh, away. Um, here? Hidden behind the building? What can I do? No can do. Socks. Socks. Get those socks available to the people. Get up advertising. Full formation as, as usual. Full blast. Training. And as for price. We're definitely going to need to go down. Quality and our brand rating are very, very inferior. Okay, good. That's not going to make much money, but the important thing is to hurt them. I'm actually going to take you down. 40 bucks. Take a look at my supplier of shoes and make sure I get this guy down. Keep everything rocking and rolling. As for textiles, we have two factories. One's for ourselves at a quality of 95. And one is for everybody. At a price of 15, quality of 95 as well. Hope our textiles technology comes in soon so that we can at least open a gap there in that quality. R&D jeans, great. Apply the tech immediately. We are at top tech, great. So yeah, keep on pushing. That's her perfume. 182. How how's I watches technology for perfume? Things are getting quite uh quite quite crazy. So intense, so many products, so many things happening. So they're at 218. Our R and D just reached 182. We cannot apply that because we do not have factories yet, but that will be very, very soon. So in two years, I think we'll be in, in the front. And that will be the time to start our factories. Good job, good job.
Now, how's our jeans doing? We have leather jackets right here. We have jeans over here. We're at an excellent price. We're still losing to them in brand. Of course, our friend Warren managed to screw this up. Get back to advertising. Got everybody to love in our product. There you go. And eventually, we'll be fine. Just take a quick look here in Dubai, as we also had to disable Warren from screwing with all our stores. Doing fine here. What do they have? We have a supermarket. It's okay. Right here. Another one there. They're selling everything. Good to know. We have a factory of elegant watches. This is making them a lot of money. Elegant watches as well. Double double factories. And they have engines. That's curious. They're wow, three factories producing elegant watches. This is a very, very important place we're gonna have to act. Just as uh belts. We do have steel coming in through here, so Dubai will be the source for our leather belts. Have we begun our leather production? We have. Excellent. It's coming out of quality of 48. Of course not. Uh, as for our factory, we've got leather briefcases. Are you correctly set up? Yes. Leather bags. Funny, this guy has plenty of supply, this guy has plenty of demand. 24,000 being sold, 35,000. Hmm. How are retail stores doing? This guy's selling at 75. That's increasing the demand to sufficient levels. As for leather bags, we're at 160. Warren really, really screwed us up. them out of the market. We're almost there. As for wallets, we only have 50 bucks. We can actually put more pressure. Make sure they're advertising. Okay. And the last look at our wallet factory. Plenty of supply. Excellent. Bring the price down just so we have more room to maneuver at the retail stores. That seems okay. Good. Good, excellent. All right, so before we just set up our elegant watch, I'm gonna leave that for our next episode. So I'm gonna just end right here and I'll catch you guys next time. See you soon.